Bill Cyrus, and in this episode of Programmers, we are we're going to find the final velocity when we are giving when we're given a force and a mass. So we're going to use the final velocity. The question is is going to be for us to find the final velocity. This is the uh, in a series of videos we're doing where we're combining. Uh, the, the F equals MA equation with the distance equations, and we're using that F equals MA equation to uh, determine acceleration. Or we're using acceleration in, in another way. In the previous video, we calculated what F was under a certain distance condition. In this video, a force of 20 newtons acts on an object with a mass of 5 kilograms. If the object has an initial velocity of 10 meters per second, what is the final velocity? Again, we're going to divide the page in two parts. The ultimate question is, what is the final velocity? So we are finding V sub F where? We're going to list all the variables this time. We'll list them all because it's not so many. I have uh, 20 newtons, so I have F equals 20 newtons. Um, I have a mass, M equals 5 kilograms, 5 kilograms. I have an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. V sub I equals 10 meters per second. And I should have a time in here somewhere, 6 seconds. T equals 6 seconds. So the first thing we're going to do... We're, we're, we're looking for V sub F, and we got time and V sub I, so we know we're going to have to use that V sub F equation that says the final velocity is how fast was it going to start with plus how was, what was the rate of acceleration and for how long. So one half v equals, VF equals VI plus AT. The problem is we don't have an A. So we're going to have to come over here and get us an A. We're going to have to get an A. We're going to take, we're going to take the F and the M variables, and we're going to put them over here and do something with that. We need to find A. We need to find A. These are arrows. I don't know what they actually turned out looking like, but I meant for them to be arrows. Find A. Find A. It looks like my A's and my D's are the same. Where? Find A where? F equals 20 newtons. M equals 5 kilograms. It's a good thing I got a sharpie with a sharp point so that you could read my handwriting much better. Also, it's a good thing I'm doing you know, text over the screen. Find A where F equals MA. F equals MA. And F equals 20 and M equals 5 kilograms. Plug in and solve. 20 newtons equals 5 kilograms times A. 20 newtons equals 5 kilograms times A. A lot of times students would like to draw the line and actually show the division, so we'll do that. 5 kilograms. 5 kilograms. The 5 kilograms cancel. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Newtons divided by kilograms is meters per second squared equals A. 4 there's my A. So I'm going to take my green pen highlighter again. Going over here. Now it will look more like an arrow because I'm going to be more careful. There. That's an arrow now. So I'm going to take my 4 and stick it in for A. I got V sub F. That's what I'm looking for. Find V sub F. V sub F equals VI is 10 meters per second plus I just calculated A, 4 meters per second per second times T. So I'm going to get my 6 and go in here. 6 seconds. So if I got meters per second per second divided by second, that means meters per second. 10 meters per second plus 4 times 6. V sub F equals 10 meters per second. So what I just said was meters per second per second times seconds gives you meter seconds per second per second. So meter seconds per second per second becomes meters per second. It's a velocity. Time times acceleration gives you velocity. 10 plus 24. 34 meters per second. Answer, 
Boom, right there. You don't have to put it in a box because you said find V sub F and then you answered it V sub F. I just put this in a box because I knew I was going to drag it over here and shove it in for A. That's it. That's how you find final velocity when you are given force, mass, because force and mass will give you acceleration and time. Force, mass, time, and initial velocity, boom. We are ready, ready to go. All right, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I missed it that time. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, all those things. See you in the next next video. We're going to find final, final distance. That'll be fun. Lots of fun.